Hej hej and welcome to my working table. My name is Lisbeth and I'm a Danish abstract mixed media artist. Um, today I want to do a spread here in my altered book I have made for making mixed media pieces. Uh, I have not done much in it yet, but uh, hopefully I will do a lot more in it. Um, I have a video where I showed you how I made the book, uh, or how I altered the book. It was an old children's book. And uh, there's a playlist uh, with the video, the two videos where I made the pages I have made so far. Uh, but I will put links below in the description box for you. I don't know how, how you have it, but I have today uh, I, a vision is perhaps a big word, but uh, I have something in my head. I think I will see if I can get down here on my papers. And um, I, the first thing I want to do is to paint these two pages with um, paint gray. I like to have a dark color on my papers or paper and then put a lot of white over it. I, I like the way it looks so this is the ground I'm trying to to make here for for this spread and uh, we will see how it goes but uh, I have put some parchment paper under the page here yeah, perhaps that was a little too much paint but um, we'll see This page here is more sturdy because I have glued it to the other uh, page before this. But, uh, I will make this all over and let it dry and be back. And I think it will take a little time. I think I put too much paint on. But uh, never mind. Before it dries totally, I just have an old credit card. I will try to make some marks here on the, on the wet paint. Oop. Yeah. Like this. Okay, okay, okay. Let me see. While my pages are drying, I want to have make some tissue paper uh, with um, some small marks on, so I can use them on the pages afterwards. And this is just ordinary tissue paper. And I have this stencil here, and I have some black paint. Just put a drop here on my piece of paper and then I will just dab it through here. Since the pa pages in the book isn't very big, I did don't need a lot of this paper and uh, but I can always use it in other projects sorry for my table is making noises the 
thing with this stencil and paint isn't to put too much paint on your little sponge because then it will smear and you can see this looks quite nice. I also have this stencil here with some small dots. Perhaps I could use some of them too because I don't quite know what I, I want. I have something in my head but I don't quite know if I like this or that one and reach that point. So it is good to have something to choose between. Some small dots. So have this one. Perhaps I should make some of these here. Yeah. that dry too. I think it is dry enough so that I can give it the next layer and I want to put white over it but I will be a little careful not to put as much on as I did with the Take some clean water and dye it a little. Sorry, I'm back. I like to you can see the paint spray coming up from behind the, the white. Back with some paint. Perhaps this is too much. my credit card here and go over it. Something like this. I think I like this, so I will also let this dry. I think this is dry enough so I can work further. And I can remove this too here. Yeah, I don't think I will paint anymore. But uh, no matter how much I take care, I think there's come a little black here. But 
it, I don't mind here, but I can also see yeah, it has the black paint has seeped through here through the spine, and that isn't so so nice. But there isn't anything I can do about it now, other than let it dry and so embrace that black line there. So um, next time I will be a little more careful with how much paint I put on and don't necessarily go all the way down there in this in the spine. Also I had imagined this would be um, smoother in some way and perhaps it's because I'm doing this on, on this kind of paper I should perhaps have given it a coat of gesso before I did anything to it but I will remember that for further pages but um, never mind this is only for my own amusement and uh, hopefully I can make something out of it my plan is to I want to have some kind of shape that goes all the way like this I think and I have this also tissue paper I have sprayed with um, some dye spray and I like the um, ways where there are black dots like there. So I think I will try to see if I can rip something out. A shape of some kind. Looking at it now, I don't think this is wide enough. I don't think I will have to give this another coat of white. So I will do that and be back. I think it's dry enough so I can work a little further. And I think it was good I gave it another layer of the white. something like this and I can make a little piece peek out here yeah I will glue this down with matte medium uh, yeah what is it here I have fluid matte medium yeah that's okay so <clears throat> and uh, I will give it a good amount here with a crease. And I will go. Oh, I can see this smears, so I will have to be a little careful and not go much maybe it is because it is dye pigments I have sprayed with I haven't thought about that so perhaps it is better to use my finger instead or a brush <laughs> that wasn't supposed to be like this either but uh, sometimes it goes a little different than you have thought about and then I will have to put this piece here also <laughs> Yeah. 
Things turning purple, nearly purple, I think. And again, I will use my fingers instead. Yeah, that wasn't good either. So perhaps I can take. Yeah, that's fine. I can always come in with a little white later, but um. I will let it dry and be back. I think this is dry enough so I can work further. So I'll just cut this little piece off here. And uh, yeah, it isn't much uh, sitting up there. But this, yes, and I add in frame. And then I will take these small pieces here and do I want the dots or the... Yeah, perhaps I think I want the dots. I think I want a piece inside there. That was the easiest thing. much I need it could easily take over the whole thing here if I put a lot of it on and that wasn't my intention up there and what else what else it is really Evening work is this year. I think perhaps like like this, these four places. Not much, but enough. So I think I will try to, if I have a piece of paper and I have it here, instead of putting glue down there. I will put the matte medium here on the piece and this isn't supposed to smear because this was acrylic paint.
this. Perhaps this was too far down. And the black. Just to remove a little of it there. <clears throat> Sorry. And then the last oh little piece. Up here. And again I will let it dry. These pieces aren't quite dry yet, but uh, since I ain't going to do anything more around there, I th think it is okay to work further. I want to do some mark making, and I have some different pens here. I have a charcoal pen, and I have a Derwent Onyx. Um, yeah, it's like a pencil, I think, but perhaps I should try with the charcoal here and make some some lines and perhaps I can dull them a little down here yeah. that was nicer but I don't think it's black enough perhaps this is better while it's black Just water. I'm gonna see if I think this was too too heavy a line, so I'll let it dry a little. And all these lines there, perhaps it would be good with a half a circle or something like this. I like that. Mm -hmm. Can we do a little more? This is just an ordinary ball pin.
I am talking very much here, but I'm really concentrating on doing what I'm doing. So, uh, yeah, I think this would have to be it. Or else I can keep on going. So, uh, yeah, this was this third week's spread. And uh, not much of collaging, but more mixed media. And uh, this is more different for me to work like this, but I would really like to be better at it and experience it more. So in the future, perhaps I will do more like this. So um, yeah, when it's quite fully dry, this is acrylic paint, and acrylic paint with uh, get together the pages, they were a little like glue. So when it is completely dry, I will take my beeswax and then I will rub my page like this. You can also use a white candle or something like that, and then the, the, your pages, pages won't glue together. But I, it isn't so dry, so I will wait a little for doing that. But uh, if you like to see me work like this, please give my video a thumbs up. Uh, consider making a book of your own and do experiments in it. So um, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing if you want to follow the journey with this book. I will make a video uh, once a week, I think. Uh, and uh, yeah so until next time take care be creative and bye bye for now <laughs>